Hey, it's your old pal Lucid Stu again. In this video, we'll do double duty. As usual for this series, we will be removing an urban freeway, this time Interstate 45 in downtown Houston, Texas. But as a special bonus, we'll take a look at the massive $13 billion freeway project that will leave that portion of freeway abandoned and ripe for removal. To set the stage, let's take a look at Houston real quick. This is the second largest metro in Texas and fifth largest in the United States with 7.8 million people. It's also growing at about 20% a year and accommodating that growth will be a major theme in this video. The city of Houston has a population of 2.4 million. It's growing at about 10% a decade. That likely puts it past Chicago for the number three spot in the country by 2040, so it's a major city and an important city for the United States. Texas is built around roads. They have some of the largest and most visually impressive roadworks in the world. The North Houston Highway Improvement Project is no exception. This is an effort to rework the way freeways work through Houston's core. It involves the interplay of three major freeways, Interstates 10, 45, and 69, with an additional contribution from State Route 288. Currently, these freeways surround downtown Houston with four major junctions, one where Interstate 69 and State Route 288 merge into the same right-of-way, and then one where each interstate meets up with the other two. This will be replaced with a new setup that routes Interstate 45 around downtown Houston's north end instead of the current route around the south end. This will be accomplished by running it parallel to Interstates 10 and 69. On the south end, near the current junction of Interstates 10 and 45, this is complicated by the presence of State Route 288, which is a toll road. Those three will move parallel with each other below street level on downtown Houston's east side. Let me repeat that. There will be three parallel freeways here in the same right-of-way. That's going to be about 600 feet wide, by the way. Don't feel bad if you're confused by what you're seeing. I didn't understand any of this the first time I watched it. They're showing capped parks here, but that's actually not part of the project and not funded. State Route 288 will apparently end under that cap. Those three freeways will move together for a mile and a half through downtown's eastern side before meeting Interstate 10. Here, everything goes aerial in an absolutely wild tangle of transition ramps and flyovers. But what is happening here is really quite simple. Interstate 69 will peel off and continue north. Interstate 10 will come in from the east and take its place. Interstate 10 has its own segregated toll lane, so you wind up with the same situation. Three freeways side by side. And because it's Texas, it has frontage roads for good measure for a total of 24 lanes. That then enters another interchange. This time there are ramps connecting to downtown where the current Interstate 45 exists. However, once this is done, the part of Interstate 45 that curves around Houston's south end will no longer be in service. That's the part we'll remove in a bit. After that, I-10 and I-45 split. I-10 continues east, I-45 curves north to be reworked all the way to Loop 8, 12 miles away, and all is right with the world. Project documents indicate that the old portion of Interstate 45 could be removed, which indicates to me that funding for that doesn't yet exist. Let's hope they don't let it rot. As always, we'll investigate three options. We have a mile to work with, so we'll look at those options one by one. A linear park doesn't make much sense here, but what if we replace the freeway with transit? I have a rail line coming into the former interstate right-of-way from the south at Crawford with some development and a park in the spare space currently consumed by the interchange with Interstate 69. That would then run nine blocks crossing the red line route and a dedicated bus lane before turning on Louisiana Street and hooking up with the rest of the system in downtown from there. This would consume half of the land currently occupied by the freeway, but there is a good amount of other property in the area that could be developed as a result. The next option would be development in line with what is already in the area. This varies from parking lots to a 21-story condo tower. This would allow downtown Houston to seamlessly blend with the more residential quarter to the southwest. 
And lastly, we'll amp up the density. Unfortunately, without additional transportation options, this doesn't seem particularly practical. It also looks out of place with the surrounding area largely dwarfed by the new bulk. Since it will be derelict when the project is finished around 2040, there is a real chance this urban freeway could be removed. This has happened in other cities in the United States, but this Houston project is definitely noteworthy. It'll be interesting to keep an eye on it. But what do you think? Has Houston been consumed by freeway mania? Or is this new unfathomably large setup necessary? And how should the abandoned portion of Interstate 45 be redeveloped? Let me know in the comments. Plenty more videos to come. We started out of order with Miami, so Washington, D.C. is next. Keep an eye out for that. But that's all for now. Until next time, I'll see you on that big, beautiful freeway.